And now it's Ben Thies of Oakcrest and Glenn Pritzlaff of Middletown South. Pritzlaff, the state champion at 160 pounds last March. Pritzlaff was 22 and 0 a year ago. Ben Thies of Oakcrest was 19 and 10. Pritzlaff is a takedown machine. I think he had 14 takedowns in the state final He's last March. Already got one here and a 2 0 lead. Slaff won himself a Neptune Classic title a year ago. He lets Thies escape. That makes it 2-1, and you're going to see some of that takedown expertise right now. A two-point takedown and a 4-1 lead for Glenn Pritzlaff of Middletown South. And Pritzlaff is uh, another one of those kids who have a judo background. Last summer wrestled in uh, the World Junior Games in South America and pretty decent football player in his own right. Unbelievable as a nose guard for Bob Gianarelli's team. We talked earlier about uh, the use of giving up the one-point escapes, and when you can do takedowns like Glenn Pritzlaff, then you can give up those one-point escapes, and this is the perfect example of that as Pritzlaff leads six to two. So if you're out there and you're thinking about giving up one-point escapes because you're good on your feet, this is the man to watch because he's running a clinic in takedowns. He's just relentless on his feet, explosive, powerful, knows how to finish. He sees the escape. That makes it 6-3. 45 seconds left in the first period. Give these some credit, though. At least he attempted a shot there. Pritzlaff spins around for his fourth takedown and an 8-3 lead. Trading two for one pays off if you can do it every time. Well, I'm going to work on top a little bit here. Figure four in on the leg. Pulling on the chin. Pritzlaff goes without saying, the number one seed at 171 here. 22-0 and 0 a year ago. State champion at 160 pounds. That'll do it for the first period. Glenn Pritzlaff of Middletown South with his back to you. And he's Ben Thies of Oakcrest, 8-3. Slaff will start from the down position here in the second. I guess he's proof that you don't have to be a huge guy to play on the line in high school football at any rate. 160, 65 pounds around there. Played nose guard, gets an escape here to make it 9-3. But with his leverage and aggressiveness, he was a perfect uh, player to have in the middle of that defensive line. Ferocious, relentless, and after watching this, you know he can tackle. Another takedown for Pritzlaff makes it 11-3. Haven't seen a technical fall in the finals yet. Technical fall is scored when you're 15 points ahead of your opponent. And Pritzlaff is now leading East 11-3. This was warned for stalling. Which is just adding insult to injury at this point because there's not a lot he can do under Pritzlaff. Again, Glenn's already signaling for the freestyle start. Going to let him out. That makes it 11-4. not a lot these can do right now. I mean, he's tried shooting and been taken down. He's tried countering and been taken down. There's, there's not really many options left. Slaff with a, a duck under, and he's going to turn that into two points. Let's see how explosive he is. Textbook. 13-4 with 35 seconds left in the second period. Pritzlaff has Thies and trying to turn him over for some near fall points. A good 
good strong ride now he's going to try to bow him up for a cradle with 12 seconds left in the period he's got his arm in behind the knee and there's the cradle with six and that's going to do it Slav had the cradle in deep and just did not get the pin but will get three points for a near fall make it 16-4 referee Dan Lee indicating three points for a near fall and here's a look watch the hip strength the leg strength the control just gonna drive him to his back reach around the head looking for the cradle and again just so relentless wrestler started the third period in the neutral position this is the third period 149 left in the bout Glenn Pritzlaff of Middletown South leads Ben Theus of Oakcrest 16 to 4. Pritzlaff right off the front headlock there, spin behind for another two. His seventh takedown of this bout, the 171 pound final. Still got two more bouts coming up after this, 189 pounds, and then the heavyweights. Joe, you mentioned a little while ago that Fritz Laff could be used by Coach Tom Erbig, maybe even as high as 189. Do you see that uh, weight difference giving him a problem with uh, people weighing that much? I, I imagine it could if he's up against a, you know, a, a kid who's dropping a little weight to make 189, but he's so good on his feet, he's so powerful. I, I don't think it'll be a problem very often. Tom Urbig, though, is not concerned about wins and losses. He's trying to get Glenn as much competition as he can. You know, Mark, it's funny. If you're watching the Oak Crest Corner, they're both sitting there with a minute ago with leg cross, almost watching it like it was a, a, a video on how to do it. It really is, because there's another escape conceded by Pritzlap, and he has just uh, put on a takedown clinic against Ben Thies. It was 19 and 10 a year ago. It's not like Thies isn't a, a good competitor. He's up against the best in the state. Here are the Oak Crest coaches. Doug Servi on the left, Harry Whitley on the right. And there's not a lot you can tell Thies to do at this point. With 30 seconds left in the bout. Cameraman Tom Hughes. Has a good seat for this one. Right from the middle of the mat. It's a good look at it. Finish this, let's go. Need a take down. Need a take down. Tom Urbick still still uh, cheering Quick Slap on, telling him to finish his takedowns, finish the move. And he's gonna finish that right there. Perfect single leg. With 12, they give him the takedown. It was near the out of bounds. And that's going to do it. A technical fall as he gets the takedown. It's 21 to 5. And that's going to go as a technical fall for Glenn Pritzlaff. So we weren't too far away from the end of the bout. And that final takedown was enough to put Pritzlaff over the top and lock up the Neptune Classic Championship in a clinic of takedown wrestling. Defending 160-pound state champion wins the 171-pound final here at Neptune. Third place, Mike Robinson, Neptune.